KB5,070,311 is finally out after a one-week delay, and it brings 28 new features, UI upgrades, and a ton of fixes. But here's the big question, is it safe to install right now, or is this another Windows update waiting to break something? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to 4DDig. KB5,070,311 is optional. Windows won't install it automatically unless you turn on get the latest updates as soon as they're available. If you want to try it right now, just manually click download and install on the Windows update page. Versions 25H2 and 24H2 may have different version numbers after the update, but both versions correspond to the same version of Windows. So, what are the key features included in this update? File Explorer finally stops blinding us at night. All those random white pop-ups like Delete, Rename, Move Now match the dark theme. Just make sure you have dark mode enabled under Settings, Personalization, Colors. The Windows search bar now perfectly aligns with the Start menu. Plus, the right-click menu is cleaner. Commonly used actions like Copy and Share are grouped logically. These subtle changes will be noticed by anyone who prefers a clean and simple interface. Hit a blue screen of death or failed boot, QMR steps in to guide you to the best recovery option. Just jump into Settings, System, Recovery, and ensure both the QMR toggle and automatically check for solutions are flipped on. More crucially, the update includes a major fix for crashes and freezes affecting the taskbar and start menu. Now that we understand the new features, let's address the real pain point. What if the update installation fails with an error code like 0x800F825? Don't worry, let's see how to fix it. If an update fails to install and you don't know where to start, you can run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Click Settings. Select System, then Troubleshoot. Choose Other Troubleshooters. Click Run next to Windows Update. Let Windows do its little diagnostic dance. If we're lucky, it patches the issue on the spot. Sometimes a failed Windows update doesn't just break your system, it takes your files hostage. When that happens, 4DDIG Data Recovery is basically your rescue team. It's fast, easy to use, and has an impressive recovery success rate. It can even bring back files that were deleted, lost, or sitting in a drive you already formatted. Open 4DDIG Data Recovery. Click the drive where your missing files were originally stored. Then hit Scan. Now, just sit back for a moment. Once the scan is done, you'll see a full list of everything that can be recovered. Select the important files you want to restore, then click Recover in the bottom right corner. Choose a safe new location to save them. Seriously, don't put them back on the same drive you're recovering from. If some files were damaged, saving them to the original drive can make things worse. What's more, if any of the recovered files turn out corrupted, you can fix them instantly using 4DDIG's built-in file repair feature. Give it a try! Method 3. Run SFC plus DISM. Type KIM and run as administrator. Type C slash scano and hit enter. This will scan your system for any corrupted files and fix them. If SFC fixes your issue, you're good to go. If not, use DISM for a more thorough repair. Continue by entering the following command, DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. Wait for the scan to finish. After completing this command, please restart your computer for the repair to take effect. Method 4, restart the key Windows Update services plus clear the cache. If the update keeps failing or freezing, it's usually because one of the background services is lying on the floor pretending to be dead. Let's revive them. Type KIM and run as administrator. Enter these commands one by one to stop services. Next, we'll clear the corrupted update cache. Instead of deleting it directly, we we'll use the REN command to rename the folder, which is safer and essentially creates a backup. Enter the following commands in sequence. Now that the cache has been cleared, we can restart these services. Windows will automatically create a fresh, clean cache folder and attempt updates from scratch. Enter the following commands in sequence to start the services. After completion, restart your computer and return to the Windows Update page to try installing updates. This method can resolve most stubborn update failures. If Windows Update is uncooperative and gets stuck in the download process, we can completely bypass it. Search Microsoft Update Catalog in your browser, 
type key 5,070,311, and download the correct version. Once the download is complete, simply follow the on-screen instructions to finish the process. This method is like delivering the update straight to your door, no middleman. Now, before we wrap up, let's quickly talk about one more thing a lot of people have noticed after installing Keep 5,070,311. Some users notice brief white flashes when opening folders or switching tabs in dark mode. Microsoft has officially listed this as a known issue, and a fix is on the way. If you're using light mode, you won't see this problem at all. The rare moment where light mode users win. Unfortunately, there's no real fix yet, the problem is in the update itself. But you can avoid it completely by rolling back KEL 5,070,311. Go to Settings, then go to Windows Update. Select Update History. Scroll down and click on Install Updates. Find KB 5,070,311 in the list. Click on Install, then reboot your PC. Once you restart, File Explorer will be back to normal, no more flashbang moments. If you want the update again later, you can always reinstall it once Microsoft fixes the issue. Alright, that's everything you need to know about the KB5 70311 update. If anything goes wrong and your files mysteriously disappear after the update, 4DDIG is always there to rescue your data with just a few clicks. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment telling me what bug you ran into. See you in the next one.